Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee and welcome back to my video, my room transformation video. This is the long awaited room transformation video. So if you didn't know, back in August, I moved into a house with two roommates and what sort of started this whole journey as a room transformation video was because I was working with a very small space. Not only did I wanna make a functional, comfortable space that I liked, but I also wanted it to double as an office space because I didn't have my own little office. In the beginning, I thought it was gonna be really hard, really difficult, very challenging, but it turned out it really wasn't. I've not only been able to transform this room into something that I love and enjoy, this footage dates back all the way to August, so you are seeing extremely old footage. And on top of that, I deleted on accident months ago when I was editing, I accidentally deleted the first, like the introduction to this <laughs> video, so that's why I'm doing this. So what you're about to see is me jumping right in because I deleted the footage. And I just wanna also preface this by saying, this is how I view comfort and this is how I view a comfortable living space. It's not perfect, shit's crooked, it's kind of gross. This is a very old house. So yeah, like I said, my intentions for this room was to make it a really comfortable sleeping and lounging area and also make it a functioning work space. So I was able to do that in a lot of different ways and I'm very, very, very excited to show you. It is so accessible and functional and I'm able to just get my work done. So like I said in the beginning, this room is really small. It's an eight by 11 room. There wasn't a lot of room for furniture pieces, like at all. And on top of that, I didn't want to clutter my room with a lot of furniture. I hate that a lot. I like an airy open feel. I guess to show you what we kind of have going on here, things have been so messy in the studio slash office, which I'm not gonna have in the new place, but I'm gonna like also, um, I'm also gonna turn my um, like bedroom into that. But look at all this garbage that we have going on. Oh my God, like literally so many boxes. Like all this has to, look at that plate. Who did that? It was me. Gotta figure out how to transport the computer, the mics, all that stuff. Oh, and we cannot forget the tree. I ended up leaving the tree. Hey guys, so it's me. It has been a whole entire week later. Just for the record, this is what my room looked like the first week I lived there. I was <laughs> lazy. Also, I was waiting for things to come in the mail like that. This table, I just put that in yesterday. I guess I'll explain what I'm doing, but first I wanna give excuses. What I did was before I moved, I went online and I really wanted to, I wanted to use as much wall space as I possibly could. So I got this technology pegboard. So basically it looks like this and that's gonna go on this wall. I just mounted that and it took me an hour and it was, the most tragic thing ever. Look what I did. Hold on, so I can focus. I put these holes in the wall on accident, but I finally got it up. I hope it's sturdy because all of my important stuff is gonna go on that. Basically, I've been living in disarray for a week because I didn't want to get behind on YouTube stuff. I launched the merch, then I wanted that to be good. And by the way, thank you guys for buying my merch. So I just thought I would put all the moving on hold until I got that done. So now we're gonna mount that baby on the wall and I'll show you how I do that. Screwed up bitchin'. Hold on. Someday right, someday right here. Is it uneven? Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I did not do a bad job. Okay, so this is the wall mount. This is my wall mount for all my technology stuff. My biggest fear in the whole world is it falling down though. So I'm really, really hoping this doesn't because I'd be so f***ing mad. I'm like so nervous because these walls are loosey-goosey. So basically, this corner is gonna be my media workstation. This is also my bed. My uh, frame has not come in yet. These are all little compartments to put on that so I can organize all of my stuff because even when I was living at home and had a ton of space, I wasn't organized, but now that I have a room that's like 10 by 11, I really have to make sure everything is good because if I'm living in disarray, des Desiree, 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 Destiny, then I will be frustrated and freaked out. I like want to tug on it to make sure it's okay, but I'm afraid it's gonna fall. I guess we'll see when I mount all my shit and it falls. Okay guys, so on our pegboard, we have one compartment done. Yay! Yay, 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 yay! So now that I got my pen holder down, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this one. I'm thinking I want to put like,
<laughs> As you can see, all my shite is scattered. And this little doohickey right here, I'm gonna put a lot of miscellaneous things like SD cards, charging boxes, chargers, whatever little like tiny things that um, could easily get lost. I could just stick them in there. <gasps> I'm feeling so good. I look so gross and bald. <laughs> So it is once again been days since I've talked to you. This whole process of putting my room together has been not a thing that's been happening. It's just not been on my mind. I've had a lot to do. But what came in today, the final piece was my bed frame. Oh wow! I, I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I need someone to like pull the other side. I should be doing this upstairs but I can't carry it upstairs. So here you can see me putting this frame together, then pausing and realizing I put it together completely backwards. So then I had to take it apart and then put it back together again. And it was just a night of terror and horror and I hated every moment of it. The reason why I put it together wrong was because I accidentally got the twin instructions, not the queen instructions. I just need to figure out what to do with this space. And I think what I'm gonna be doing is, I don't have a dresser, so I was basically using these shelves, which are so crooked, as my clothing shelves. But I think I wanna use them more as storage. So I think I'm gonna just hang up all my clothes. So basically, I put all of my delicates in this little white storage bin, along with a lot of junky shit that I just don't touch. And I hang up, the majority of my clothes. It's even sweaters and t-shirts. Hey everyone, so it has been a really long time since I've talked to you all about my room. We are in the home stretch. I think today is the day. I have a feeling that the, the room will come together. I'm going to finally wrap up this room transformation slash moving vlog video. <laughs> so a couple days ago, my dad came and installed the shelves that we ha now have above my desk. At this point, I'm not really sure what we're going to put on them. I took out my box of decorations and I started to try to put things in places I thought they belonged. And then I had a rug that was underneath my my bed and I decided to take it out from under my bed and put it a little closer to my desk. <laughs> hey everyone, what's going on? It is currently this is embarrassing. It's December 3rd. I have yet to finish my room. I've kind of let my room go to shit. I know I said it, I said it, I said it before, but I think I'm really gonna wrap up my room. This, oh, don't look at that. This, don't look at that. I have two pieces of art over here that are, oh, I also have these two shelves. Maybe one's gonna go there. Maybe one's gonna go here. Gotta get rid of this. Hate this mirror. <laughs> but first things first, I think I wanna take care of this because this is just so gross. So I filmed this clip really late at night. That's why I'm not talking and I'm doing this voiceover. But basically, I decided to say goodbye to the rug because it kept sliding every time I moved, every time I got on my bed. So I just gave it to my roommate. When you first walk in, to the right, you see this huge wall. I was trying to put up this huge piece of art. It just didn't work. Every time I tried to drill or nail something in, the drywall would like fall down behind the wall and you would just hear it crumble. The hammer or the screw like would bounce really bad. So I gave up on putting anything up there and also had this hideous breaker box in the middle of the wall. Any type of picture or art that I tried to put over it would not work because it's coming out it's like poking out from the wall and it's not like a flat surface so i just said fuck it i'm just gonna put prison mike up there because he also covers the breaker box and then on that same wall is a closet so basically i have two closets in this room i use one closet for the majority of my clothes and the second closet for some of my clothes and a lot of storage storage space was really important i tried to make as much storage space as i possibly could that would not take up space on the ground i.e a dresser and then you come sort of to the corner of my room and I really wanted to do something cool with this side. You can see Waffle has his stairs. We're trying to teach him to use these stairs, but he is not good at it. He is not wanting to use the damn stairs, this damn mirror. It is 100% crooked and I know that, but you know what? That's okay. We're gonna live with it. It's not perfect. So on the top shelf, I have this beautiful zine made by a subscriber. I will link where you can get the zine in the description. And then there's a candle here that my roommate got me from Israel. Shout out Anna. On the bottom shelf, I have another piece of art that my friend Jackie did that I've had for years. 
is another piece of art that I got in Austin, Texas on top of some books and my salt rock lamp. I have this little side table. It does not fit right next to my bed because my bed is against the wall. And then the free space on the other side of my bed is where my desk is and where my chair is. And it just wouldn't be practical to just have those things on top of each other. I've been cluttering my windowsill by my bed. I'm gonna try to be really good about that because it's just gross. Like the look of just all this cluttered shit. I wanted to keep the windowsills clean. So I got this and I actually didn't pay for this at all. My mom had this. I didn't have to buy any of these pieces besides the zine. I bought the zine. So I used a lot of stuff that I've had for years. To the left of all that is my bed. It is a queen size bed. And then behind my bed, I have this beautiful large picture that my mom got me. To the right is actually a piece of art that a viewer did for me. Her name is Amy. I met her at a music festival. Now, as we switch to the left of my bed, we are going to be seeing my working space. I wanted to have this wall mount with everything I needed right there in my face because there was a lack of storage. So basically I went online and found this whole entire pegboard set you can get at Ikea. I have a place for all my cleaning supplies, my pens, my headphones, and I have this quick little grab and go compartment where the stuff I use every week, I can just grab it and then put it back. It is the best thing I ever, 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 ever bought. It has helped me tremendously when it comes to organization and finding things. And then move over a little bit, we have the shelves that are above my desk. I have my podcast mics, Messy Media, that is my editing service company. This little moss thing my mom made me. This is an old Polaroid that I have. These little baby ghost things that were made by a viewer. And this little thing over here is something that my therapist wrote out for me whenever I'm feeling some type of way. I look at it and it says, even though I'm feeling blank, whatever I'm feeling, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And it's something I always look at. Like as soon as I wake up in the morning, I look at it and it's just really great. So now my desk. On my desk, I keep my computer. This is from Ikea. It fits literally so perfectly. This chair is also from Ikea as well. To the left of that, I have my second closet. I keep a lot of things in this closet. So at the very top, I have my linen closet. The second shelf from the top is basically everything that I cannot fit on the pegboard. The third shelf is what I usually keep my nighttime stuff and like leggings and shorts. And then the bottom, I keep um, my dirty laundry in this hamper and some extra blankets and <laughs> Why am I so far away now? That is basically my room. It is a very, very, very functional space. I think that's basically it. Obviously, if I miss something, I'll add it. But yeah, sorry this video is literally all over the place. I took this extremely small room and made it a very functional space. So I'm very proud of it and I love it. I, I kind of like was thinking in my head, I'm like, I'm never gonna get this video down. Like there's just always gonna be stuff that I want. This room is always gonna grow as I grow. And this room is always gonna have something missing or there's something that's gonna be off literally like that crooked mirror in the corner that goddamn mirror that's just life nothing is perfect there are times when the room is disgusting and gross it is what it is so i hope you enjoy this video and don't forget i am doing vlogmas every sunday i'm uploading the week's worth of videos bye